oh man, I've been cooped up for a long time and I noticed there's a lot of new food hacks out. Good thing for you, I'm here to test to find out, are they real or fake? There's only one way to find out and that's by tasting them. Come on. I'm a big breakfast guy. I love pancakes in the morning, but I figure, you know, being on isolation and not working out as much as I could be, it's probably not healthy for me. But then I found a hack that could make pancakes healthy. Let's watch the clip. Okay, if this works, this is next level because I really don't know how many carbs are in a banana, but it can't nearly be as much that's in flour or such like that. So if we could actually substitute a banana for all the stuff that you use to make pancakes, like this is a healthy alternative, if you will. So we're literally gonna only do half the ingredients because we don't need to make a huge amount. It's literally just for trial and error. So we're really gonna make this as crushed up as possible. You really don't want to have any solid pieces. You want it to be literally all mush like this so you can mix it easier with the eggs when the time comes. So now we're gonna add eggs. A piece got in there. All right, so now that we have our two eggs per one banana, we're gonna mix it all together. This is where you literally are gonna make our batter, our pancake batter. Kind of like clumpy looking. It's almost like making me wonder like when you make it into the pancake, is it gonna be like chunks of banana in there or do you have to get rid of those first? I'm down for a couple little chunks of banana in my pancake. I'm cool with it. One big one. Now, if you look at this, it looks very watery. It doesn't look like it's gonna turn into anything solid. It doesn't look like it's gonna stick together at all. But I, I did feel like there needs to be some type of like of like solid, like a, like flour or something that's gonna hold it together. But hey, she didn't use anything. If this works. This is the ultimate hack. Look at that. It might actually work. I think you should just send it, like get it one other side and just <laughs> it's gonna burn. Yeah, it looks burn on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna have another one going too, just because that one kind of... Just make a teeny one. Yeah. I mean, it smells like egg. I don't smell banana at all. That's completely gone, so I don't know. It's kind of a little bit spooky. And while we mentioned the topic of spooky, you want to know something else that's spooky? Yeah. According to my analytics, 66.6% .6 of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. That's pretty spooky. So help flatten the curve. Subscribe right now. Let's get that number down because I can't have a haunted number in my number section. That just ain't right. So if you want to be an overachiever, hit the little bell too. Get notified every time I post. All right, let's try this. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the side so I can taste something in it. But at first I'm gonna taste it plain. So here's one of the mini ones we made. Hmm. I do taste the banana. I do taste it. But I also taste somewhat of eggs, and I, and I don't know banana eggs like that. Let me try it in some syrup, maybe the syrup will match. Does it have a texture of a pancake? It does have a texture of a pancake though, but also it's kind of a rubbery pancake. I could be confused. If I was eating this, not unknowingly, I would just think they're banana like pancakes. I wouldn't really think that they're eggs with bananas. Does that make sense? Like you could fool me and make me actually think that you like made this from like it tastes like it But just a tiny bit more rubbery. I'm gonna have to honestly say this one is a success Like it, it's a life hack because it helps cheat your mind into thinking it's a real banana pancake when really it's just banana and eggs This is mind-blowing This next hack will be the topping on the cake Literally it has to do with Nutella roll the clip I'm not sure if you know about this, but when you buy a brand new Nutella, open it up, there's actually two linings in here, white lining and a silver lining in here. And then when you open up the silver lining, there should be a little knife to open the Nutella. If this is real, this is something I would like to know. It literally will make this like all in one. You can literally, you literally do not need anything else to ever use Nutella. So let's find out, okay? This is a brand new Nutella. We're gonna do the whole thing on here, first time ever. And before we jump on to the next step, I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing. Brendan Hub is back. If you haven't already noticed, 
I'm rocking the Brendan Hub merch. We also brought an anti-social in a long sleeve, beautiful blue color that is actually being sold out literally right as we speak. So if you want it, you better hop on quick because it's selling so fast. BrendanTaylor.com. Okay. Turn the top, pull it over. Supposedly you leave this. This is a completely normal, right? But in here, there's something. Supposedly you just lift this up and there's nothing down there. That guy lied to us. Here I am thinking I'm gonna be able to spread my Nutella anywhere at any time with nothing but the bottle of Nutella. But here I am also lied to. This one, completely busted. Is not true, is false, is a lie, and I am upset. Every episode I like to do something crazy, something that we're gonna remember forever, something that is gonna get your taste buds dancing, and honestly, after I watched this video, my taste buds were ready. Roll the clip. Let's make monkey bread. First, you wanna preheat your oven to 350, and then you'll need to get your bunch pan. You'll need three packages of biscuits, and cut each biscuit into four. Get a half cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, that in a bag, and mix. Add the dough and mix. Coat your pan in butter and then add in the dough. Melt down a cup of butter and then add in a cup of brown sugar. And mix. We're gonna add this to your bump pan. Just pour it right on. And then put in the oven. And you're gonna leave it in for 25 minutes. Should look like this when it's done. Oh god. Okay, turn it off. All right, so this one honestly doesn't look that hard to do, and if it comes out looking as good as hers, man, I know my treat that I'm gonna be making all the time. So let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is we need to make this cinnamon sugar. This is what's making me scream like churro or cinnamon bun, like, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, there we go, half a cup of sugar, put it in the bag. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a lot of sugar. Get your dentist ready, because you're gonna have a cavity. Good, one tablespoon. Two tablespoons of cinnamon. And now, we are gonna shake this up. There it is, completely mixed up in just a couple shakes. Sheesh, man, I'm thinking about a churro right now. So now we need to set this aside. Now we need to get our biscuits ready. So literally, this is what we got. We got some biscuits. Let's open these things up. We're gonna cut them into fours. Three cans seems like a lot. Yo, there's something on your arm. Oh, that's a fresh new tack. Check it out. This is a uh, my brand new tattoo that I got. It's an angel, and uh, if you actually want to see the full video of me getting this done, it's over on Daniel Silva's page. He's super awesome tattoo artist, and he actually hooked this up, and honestly, it's probably my favorite piece. So go watch the full video, and you get detail of all my other tattoos. Link will be down below. If it's out, if it's not, his channel will be there, and just check him out when the video comes out. All right, back to this. Now we need to really shake this all up. We need to get the dust. Always make sure you secure the bag is closed. Yeah, you... Yo, they look like little churros. Yeah, they look delicious. Honestly, you could probably just throw this in the, in the oven and it'll turn into churros like this. You could fry a churro, but yeah. Oh, that's true. So the next step we need to do is we need to butter our bunt cake maker. And uh, we need to... Is that really what it's called? It makes a bun cake. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what the- We had a full conversation off camera on what this thing was called and it just didn't come out of my mouth confidently. Whatever this is, we're gonna butter it up. Okay. Let's really lube this whole thing up, if you will. Lube it all up. So now with the remainder of this butter, we're gonna melt it. Look how much butter that is. Really get a shot of that. And we're about to consume that much butter. Oh my god. We got nothing else to do. Now that our butter is melting, we're gonna take out all this dough churro looking thing and we're gonna put it all around. It looks so good. Yeah. Jesus Christ. This is gonna be so delicious. That is a cup of brown sugar. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. Look at this. Careful. Oh my God. All right, whisk that up till it's like a syrup. Look at it, it's bubbling. Look how thick the brown sugar is underneath it, but it's not like fully combining with the butter yet. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it has to be mixed all the way. Honestly, it all goes down to the same spot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I think, but do an even like go around, you know? And then get all the brown at the same time all over too. Oh, oh my God. God. 
get all the crevices. Oh my god, my mouth is fucked. Calm down. Oh my god. Calm down. My god, guys, this looks absolutely incredible. And we're gonna put it in the oven now. It's gonna take 25 minutes, and let's see what this comes out to look like. Oh my god. 20 minutes later. Oh my god. Don't put it on here. That's what it made. Okay, so we, we need to do a flip with this. Oh my god. Jesus Christ couldn't make something better than this. Look at this, guys. It absolutely looks insane. How does it smell? It smells like. Like fresh bread mixed with cinnamon and sugar. It like smells like cinnamon rolls coming out of the oven, but it looks even better. It looks like giant French toasts. So we're gonna attempt to lay this out. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. The moment of truth. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. It's I don't sense. think if that was supposed to happen, was it? I don't know. That's literally the, all the butter and everything we just made. All right, let's see. Wait, hold, on, hold on. We followed her instructions to the T. And this is what it made. Oh god, that's hot right now. Oh, oh my god. No oh way. My god, guys. Okay, yes. It made a giant mess. But honestly, the time has come for us to taste test this. So I'm gonna taste it first, and then Jake can taste it after. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Let's try this thing. Here we go. Oh my god, man. <laughs> we literally made a cake of cinnamon buns. That's basically what this tastes like. It tastes like we just made a giant, very sugary, very delicious cinnamon bun. It's hot though, be careful. <laughs> it's so hot. I just told you. Go for it, send it. Oh my god. So what are your thoughts on this? Honestly, from everything that we put into this by making it and the, the time it took to make it, would you ever make it again? Hundred thousand percent. Really? I think we could have definitely made it smaller. Yeah. We didn't need to do three of the biscuits. And, and I honestly think that her ingredients were a little bit off. Like I don't think it needed two cups of butter or a whole cup of butter because if you look here, that's a whole cup of butter just sitting on the table right there. Yeah, I think she might have said it wrong. I think she meant one stick of butter. Yeah, yeah like I don't think it needed a whole cup because that was a lot of excess butter. But honestly, it is really good. It tastes delicious. But honestly, I'm gonna have to say without a doubt in my mind, this one is a success. Yeah. Super good, a little time consuming. Oh, oh it's so good. Cheap. You see this right here? This is a plain old carrot. Nothing out of the ordinary. But what if I were to tell you that I found a life hack online where a woman is claiming she can turn these into bacon? Huh? It sounds absolutely absurd, which is why I want to try it. Let's watch the clip. Would you see carrots or do you see bacon? I'm about to make carrot bacon. Uh huh. You need a shaver. And then you shade it like so, like that. You see how it looks real thin? Uh huh. Now you got a few strips, but you know what? If you want more than this, do that, because that's your business. You're going to need some liquid smoke, maple syrup. Don't call it a comeback, honey. He's been here for years. Garlic powder, smoked paprika, and a little bit of this onion powder with pepper. Like so, like that. And mix this all up, because this is your seasoning. And this is your concoction for the carrots to turn it into the bacon. Then put the bacon in there. Make sure it get thoroughly seasoned. You can leave it in there for about two minutes or so. Put it in your air fryer or your oven. 380 for five minutes. Take it out and baby, you got some bacon in there. Let's check the crunch. Listen real good. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that was a solid crunch for some carrots, if you ask me. And honestly, they kind of started to look like bacon towards the end. So I'm super excited for this because this is like, you can, you can eat this all the time and not feel bad about it. You know what I mean? So here is our makeshift bacon. Honestly, it doesn't look like much right now, but we need to make the seasoning to really turn this into the bacon. So let's set this aside and let's start working over here. For this seasoning, we really need to add just a little bit of all these ingredients. I've never heard of liquid smoke. Me either. What is that? I feel like right when you open it, it's gonna smoke. Oh wow, it kind of smells like barbecue, like barbecue sauce. I don't know, let's put it in there. Oh wow, that was not what I was expecting it to look like. It looked like, like vanilla extract. Yeah. Try it a little, give me. You, I don't know, is it give safe? Me, give me a taste of it. All right. Oh, like vinegar. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Honestly, she didn't tell us how much to put of everything in, so we're just gonna kind of wing it and uh, make a little bit of a concoction. 
You know what? It smells really good. Like this could be actually a really good concoction, and it's like it's got the right consistency. It almost looks like it feels like a teriyaki sauce kind so of give consistency. Give it a try. Nah, I want to save it. I want to save it for the moment. Okay. So next thing we need to do is we need to put our bacon's in there, our, our makeshift bacon in there, and get them all lathered up. Get it all mixed in there. Get them all soaked. You want them to all be lathered up. She also said to leave it in there for two minutes. Yeah, so I'm just gonna lather them up and then I'm gonna let it sit. A few moments later. So our makeshift bacon has been marinating inside of this sauce, but now it's time to put it on this platter and we're gonna put it in the oven. We're really gonna see what these make, so I'm not gonna let them be perfect because I wanna see them shape into bacon, you know? So we're gonna throw this in the oven and then we'll check back as soon as it's done. So it's been about seven minutes. We let it go a little bit longer and they are crispy. Look at that. They literally almost turn into nothingness down here. They don't look crunchy though. Look, they look kind of flimsy and soft, so I don't know where her crunch came from. Let's let them sit for a little bit. Maybe they need to dry out some more and then they'll turn crunchy, I don't know. Put it back in there because we wanted to see if we can get a solid crunch out of this. And now, look at them. They look like they could actually have a crunch because they're basically burnt. But, um, so were hers in a way. So, uh, the five minute thing isn't true. We had to put it in longer. I'm gonna grab the crunchiest looking one. It looks like it could be bacon, right? It also just looks like it's burnt. Burnt, let's see, here we go. Come close, see if we can get a crunch, ready? <gasps> That's not bad. If they get to the burnt stage, they they don't taste like bacon. They taste like barbecue, like a chip almost. But knowing that it's a carrot and it's completely healthy changes the game. Like I'm gonna say, it doesn't taste like bacon, but it is still good. Like with some eggs, it would be delicious. So I'm gonna have to say for this one, it is a success. It worked, but I wouldn't substitute for bacon. It's still good though. So I guess you can say I ate pretty good today. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up and hit the subscribe. Help me out. 66% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please subscribe right now. If you haven't already, notice the brand new merch. Pick some up, brennantaylor.com. It is so fire, so comfortable, and honestly, it's very fashionable. brennantaylor.com. Until next time, I love you guys. Stay safe, keep washing your hands, and drink a lot of water. I'm out. Peace.